I have wanted to make this video when the new flare renderer arrived with the Apache, but it's finally been fixed and correctly implemented for all modules. We're making a direct comparison between the old flare render and the new one with side-by-side -side replay tracks. The TV camera remains mostly unchanged, but switched to flare and it's a dramatic difference. Vehicles will no longer stand out unless they're hotter or colder than their surroundings, and this goes for weapons effects too with smoke and fire being hot rather than hidden, making it hard to look through smoke of recently launched weapon systems. As the unit operates, it'll get warmer, revealing its location against the background, with engines, wheels and launchers all heating separately. Particularly hot spots now produce a little bloom, hopefully we'll see some flare blowout effects in the near future when large explosions fill our screen. The level of detail that you'll see on vehicles closer reflects reality now, with flat shades rather than being able to see the lighting effects or even textures from an object. We'll now see the temperature map. For example, decals are hidden under the very thermal camera. It's easy to see at a glance if a vehicle is active or cold, although rather interestingly, static objects placed in the editor always appear to be full hot, whilst an active unit needs time to warm up. Ideally, we need new options to configure the static object's heat added to the editor. That said, not all objects have their heat map yet, like this gentleman here from the supercarrier, and this will remain an ongoing process. We've also noticed there are now shadows appearing in the IR camera, which I hadn't seen rather interestingly under the TV camera. And if you look closely, you can see what looks like a ghosty halo effect around hot objects. Plants are no longer excessively hot, making it easier to spot vehicles or infantry amongst them than before and weather affects our picture, with colder weather making vehicles stand out more and hot weather helping to hide them. There is a bit of a contrast between terrain objects and the terrain mesh, with bridges standing out for no real reason, and other oddities, but it's a huge step forward otherwise. The sea in particular is no longer hotter than the surface of the sun, where in the past it was so bright it would wash out the display symbology and objects on the sea. We can now clearly see small aircraft and ships, which is a huge improvement. Flare cameras can't see you too well through glass, and this is Model 2, along with the engine exhaust heat on jets, although it does seem to be overdone on idle or starting up aircraft. The body of our jets even warm up in response to throttle impers. It's been a long time and I'm glad to finally see it coming together. Flare is now distinct from the TV camera with its own advantages and disadvantages, giving you a reason to use TV or laser guided weapons over IR like in the past. There's still plenty of improvements I hope to see, but it's great to finally have a usable flare camera rather than a filtered TV camera. Hope you've enjoyed, and take care.